Our sons, pride of our nation, this day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization, and to set free a suffering humanity. In 1941, as millions of Americans took up arms to fight totalitarianism and racism abroad, America was still a deeply racist nation. The military, like many American institutions, was largely segregated. At the time, Congress was largely controlled by powerful Southern Democrats who staunchly supported racial segregation. FDR felt he could not directly challenge military segregation without jeopardizing other parts of his administration's social and military goals. Roosevelt looked for opportunities to take action against discrimination without having to go to Congress. In 1940, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. became the Army's first black brigadier general, and during this war, blacks were admitted to the Marine Corps and the Army Air Corps for the first time. With the strong public support of First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, Nearly 1,000 black pilots were trained at Alabama's Tuskegee Institute. Many of these pilots went on to serve in combat in Europe and North Africa in the all-black 99th Pursuit Squadron. They were known as the Red-Tailed Angels because of their distinctive painted red tail fins. They fight not for the lust of conquest. They fight to end conquest. They fight to liberate. They fight to let justice arise and tolerance and goodwill among all thy people. <laughs> <laughs> 